hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today for returning subscribers thank you very much and if this is your first time thank you so much kindly join the family so today we'll be talking about federal polytechnic bida i'm a graduate of federal polytechnic bida where i studied civil engineering so i can tell you in total in and in and out of federal polybida so without wasting much of our time let's get started federal polytechnic bida is located in niger state it is ranking 15,748 institution in the world and it's ranking 14th best polytechnics in Nigeria. Put your hands together for them. The admission process in Federal Polytechnic Bida is something that is very flexible. Okay, the freshers not the HNDs. I'm talking about the NDs, people that want, just want to gain admission into ND. You can decide to pick me as your first choice or your second choice. Once you write your jam, you have about 100 and you have five um, main courses, including English and Math. So you can apply to Ferrap and Libida. And the registration process is very, very simple. Just go to the school website, which I'm going to drop in the description box below. But the good news is there is no post UME, like it's nothing like post UME, you're writing post UME or you're taking any exam. Either for HND programs or for national diploma, which is ND. Select candidates based on um, reviewing your credentials, okay? The first batch is always on merit list, and then other badges can be who you know, how you think no person, you understand? So get somebody, get a connect. Yeah. If you have been offered professional admission into the school, all you just have to do first, accept the admission by, by paying an acceptance fee of 10,000 error. Good, that's the thing that's obvious and if you are from um choir state polytechnic Auchi poly and some other police prior polytechnic be that would not offer your admission except you have someone that can stand for you and like and test his attitude is he or she is a very nice person reason be that um those schools are marked as schools that have high number of courtism so Fair up the technique that do not offer them admission. Your name is not in the first batch, your name is not in the second batch. Even if your name is not in the third batch, don't worry. As long as you get connect and you're sure of your result and everything, they will offer your admission. Do you know why? Because even two weeks to your exam date, they are still releasing names. If possible, you're very sure of your you know your ways. Can you even start attending lecture pending the time your name will be out? Is there's nothing wrong if it's your first time to go to federal polybida and you're coming from lagos hey just drop hard a super and if you're also coming from abuja mina also you can drop at a super i think like either to big gate or small gate depending on where you are going to inside this we have two part of our name we have the student admin we have the rector's admin so for the student admin you can take a bike from the school gate, tell them we are going to student that mean that is where they will first attend to you and then you can do your registration processes 2022 slash 2023 academic section um from my research it is 52,700 naira i know the acceptance fee okay the acceptance fee is 10,000 you pay for other fees too okay so just budget yourself like okay at the end of the day i will spend 80 90 100 k it's minus house rent fees expenses school fees and all of that okay if you talk of facilities they are facilities they are very big equipped library even inside the library we have a part that has to do with just books and you have the digital part where you can research books online they have laboratories the lab are not just that the labs are functioning when it comes to laboratory work you will not just be taught you also practicalized what you have been taught for the accommodation part as two big hostels for female and they are even building new hostels for male and females if you are just going to higher institution for the first time a level students i would advise that you stay in the hostel for your year one the reason is because 
as you're trying to get familiar with the environment, the way the school is being structured, the exam system, the test system. Before the end of that section, you'll be able to figure out if you are okay with the hostel or if you are okay to stay in the lodge. And hostel fee is really cheaper than lodge. I'm always advising students to be please, whether you're staying in the hostel or you want to stay in the lodge, kindly, kindly buy enough detail during my water analysis test we discovered that the water contains bacteria and also that dissolved solid was in excess within two to three weeks you start noticing rashes on your body you mistakenly start drinking the tap water i would not advise that you, you still buy such water because for me it's still no difference the pure tabi is still no different but it's cheaper food is very cheap there don't buy food in school environment. If you cannot get your food stuff from home, please don't buy food in your school environment. Very, 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 very expensive. Try as much as possible to be going to market at least once every week or twice in a week to get what you want for the week. You will see what I'm saying. You have plenty of money to see. The lecturers in Federal Polytechnic did that. They are very, very nice. I have much more um, old lecturers and less new lecturers so you hold ones they are very nice they are going to impart knowledge into you and they will treat you as children they are like their own children but for the young lecturers they will treat you as a student make sure you also study as a student okay their lecturing pattern is very okay just know from 8 a.m to 6 p.m you are sleeping in school sometimes to 7 p.m you are in school school is your home ensure that courses that have practical you perform very well in practical and you perform very well in test because most of those courses their exam is always very tedious as long as you are in hand they just follow simple instructions and obey your lecturer if you are in your h22 which is the final final of all lecturer will treat you differently and you too you like oh god so we can't do this assignment they handle us at that stage is now like oh they're already you know especially second semester ah, you understand so yeah that's the thing some lecturers do give makeup to them so it's advisable to be sure to ask your seniors about those lecturers that can give makeup tests and those that can't. Sometimes, for courses that do not have practical, they mark exam over 60 and your test is over 40. But for courses that have practical, practical is 20 marks. Your test and your exam is 80 marks. Courses that have practical, most times are awarded one of the highest course units, like six units, four units, three units. You can get past questions from library, from your seniors. You can also get past questions from a church if you're a Christian, and you can get past questions from a mosque if you're a Muslim. If your purpose is to pass exam, what you just have to do is to cram. Cram as much as you can. It's the younger lecturer that marks exams and tests. If you read extensively and you research, and then a lecturer asks you, what is environmental engineering? Instead of you to define it the way the bosses has defined it in the notes that was given to you, start saying, eh, my father now had beans to eat, beans now become rice, and rice now sweet. Lecturer like, what is this one saying? It doesn't even relate. Pam, pam, you are gone. Especially the lecturer is, is the kind of person that is not even patient enough to read everything. You are gone now on your own, zero. And like, I wrote well, sorry, on your own terms, not on the terms you are given. But if it's a senior lecturer that is going to mark, obviously you are going to enjoy the marking because sometimes they will even check your main points. But during your free period, during your holidays, please research on what you've been read. Most tests is always by seven in the morning. Once your test script has been given to you, please don't just check the total score. Like, make sure you go through the marking process because if there's a mistake anywhere, ensure to quickly take it back to the lecturer in a mature manner, in a respectful manner, okay? Make sure all test scripts are being collected. And the only transparent thing is your test and your assignments. Exam marking and grading is not transparent. You see the exam, you don't know what you have. Even if you write where you are not sure of what they mark. And even if you're sure of what they mark, you don't know what they record. Nobody wants to correct a result that has been approved. Ensure you are in school 30 minutes before, even an hour before your exam. So you will not miss your exam. Because once you mix exam, we call it carryover, okay? This system in therapy technique that is very simple. Aspire for A as much as you can in each of your 
because it also give opportunity for you to defer admission. You can defer your admission. You can tell the school, I don't want to come back for now for reasons like this. When I'm ready, I'll come back. They do accept that. But the problem of you defying is that once you defy, your CGPA begins to drop, even when you are not in school. If you're a detention candidate in Ferrari, you are on the rector's list. According to my HOD, they said you are entitled to collect 20000 or 5000 I can't really recall right now. But you're entitled to collect some cash. If you are not past student, you are on the dean's list. I think the convocation is every five years or 10 years. I cannot really figure it out. But one advice I'm going to give to you is just have it at the back of your mind that if you're a Muslim, please go to mosque and pray and be a prayerful Muslim. If you're a Christian, ensure you go to church and be a prayerful Christian. I am not saying that you should leave your academics for church, but what I'm saying is try and balance it because it's not all environment that is clean. If you get what I'm trying to say. Thank you for joining me on this channel today. And if you've listened to me till this point and you're not subscribed to my channel, how about now? What are you waiting for? Please kindly click the subscribe button. Like and share to aspirants that are interested in going to Ferrapoli Bida. Um, it's nice meeting you today. Thank you for tuning into this channel. If you are interested in sharing more ideas about this school, any comment in the comment section. And if you are interested in talking about your school, if you want to give me more information about your school, please contact me by TikTok and the link is down. Have a lovely day. I love you. Bye-bye.